As your online store starts to grow, you will receive more and more customers and you will need to actually manage those customers. Within Magento Go system, there is a very good system that will allow you to manage your customers quite easily. So in this tutorial video, we'll have a look how to manage customers within Magento Go system. So first of all, we have to log back into the dashboard, the main dashboard of our store and into the navigation menu, we'll find customers. And under customers, we'll actually find manage customers. So by clicking on manage customers, we will open a manage customers page. Here all the customers will be displayed. Currently I have only two customers. So I have John Citizen and Peter Smith. All right, if I wish to edit any of those customers, which I have currently, I have only two. So I can either click on, for example, Peter Smith, or I can just go here and click on this edit link. This will now open Peter Smith information page. So all the information about a customer called Peter Smith will be displayed here. First of all, I'll find some personal information here, such as the last login, whether or not the email has been confirmed and so on. I'll also find the default billing address. On the left hand side, I'll find a bit more information. So basically, I can go here and check the account information. So I can actually change some of this information here if I wish to. So for example, the email address, I can actually put a gender. So beta is actually male and this is not a required field. So the required fields are actually the one with the red star or the actual asterisk. So basically all of the required fields have been actually filled in. And actually I can go into the addresses here and make sure that all, that all addresses are correct. So this is the billing and the actual shipping address. Then I will go to the orders and here I'll find all the orders Peter Smith has made to my online store. So basically there is only one order right here that Peter has made. Moving down I'll come to billing agreements and if any billing agreements exist they will be displayed here. Also I can check Peter's shopping cart which is currently empty. I can go to his wish list and I can actually go into the newsletter. So basically this is whether or not Peter receives our newsletter. To actually subscribe Peter to our newsletter, we'll actually just come here and tick this box and now we actually say that Peter Smith will receive our newsletters. Moving down, there's the product reviews. So all the reviews that Peter has made about any products, which, has, which he hasn't actually done, and the product tags and the actual store credit. All right, once you're actually happy with all the changes you have made, you can go up here and actually hit on save customer. When all the changes have been saved, I'll be brought back to this manage customers page. Over here you can actually apply some sort of filters. So basically imagine if you have thousands of your customers here and maybe you would just like to see who is in a general group. You can go here and select general and after that just hit enter and this will actually display only people who are in group called general. Also you can apply many different filters such as countries so maybe you can say alright let's see how many Australian customers I have so you will select the country Australia and you will hit enter and currently I do not have any Australian customers within my online store. Alright so basically that's how you would go about applying those filters. Now to get back to your original list of all the customers you will just go and hit on reset filter. This will actually reset all of the filters you have applied previously on your list. Alright, so we can see the two customers we have right here. Alright, so we can actually add more customers to our online store, to our database, customer database. To do so, we'll have to go up here and click on add new customer. This will now load up a page called new customer. Here we have to enter some information about our particular customer that we're actually adding to our customer database. So. Let's go ahead and fill in some of these required fields. Alright, so my customer is called Anna Lee and here is her email address. I can set the date of birth, the gender and everything else but that's not very, that's not really compulsory. But let's go ahead and actually say that Anna is a female. Now there is an option to send an welcome email to this person to this customer so if you wish to send an email a welcoming email you can just click on this box here and you'll be able to send a welcoming email to 
this person. Moving down, you'll actually come to the password management, and basically you can just type in a password here. So you're you're typing in a password here for Annalise account. So this is the password she will use to actually log into your site. So basically, you can type something like password one, for example, here, or you can actually use this auto-generated password. Now, in most cases, it's probably better to actually use this send auto-generated password as it's more secure. So I'll actually click on that and now an email will be signed to this email address for Annalie to actually confirm that she is actually using this email and she will be sent a password that will be auto-generated. Alright, so after we've done with this personal information, we can go and actually edit the address. Now we can see here that we do not have any address for Annalie and basically what I would like to do is just leave it like this for now and I will hit on save customer. Alright so this will actually go ahead and save my new customer and there she is Annalie and we can actually see that we do not have any telephone number, zip code, country and state province. Alright so we can actually go and click here and this will bring us back to Annalie's account. And here we can actually go ahead and set the address by clicking on the address in the left on the left hand side and then just going add new address all right here we have to select whether this is a default billing address or default shipping address and then we will actually go here and enter the information required for this particular person all right so we have actually seen how to add a new customer how to edit an old customer and how to edit a new customer once again all the available options are here so from actual address to orders billing agreements shopping cart wish list newsletters product reviews product tags and store credit all right so let's go back to customers let's go back to manage customers and let's say for example we would actually like to delete Anna Lee because Anna Lee will not shop with us anymore so what we do is actually tick on this little box that's actually next to Anna Lee's name and we'll actually go to actions here and from the drop down list you can actually select delete subscribe to newsletter unsubscribe from newsletter and assign a customer group so let's go ahead and delete this person so we're actually deleting customer called Anna Lee and all the information that is actually related to this customer so once I have selected delete I will just go and hit on this button submit here then Magento will actually ask me am I sure that I want to delete this person I will say yes or click on OK and now you can actually see that Annalie is no longer in my customer database. So once again, you can delete any customers that you have previously had in your data customer database and you can enter any new customers and also you can edit your old customers. There's one more option in, within Magento Go within its customer database system and that is actually to export all of your customers outside of your Magento online database store to do so we'll have to navigate to this bit here so this is export to you can basically choose if you wish to export it to csv or you can choose excel so basically if i click on this one and i actually hit the export button this will now export all the information and all the customers that i currently have in my database and that information i can later use for you know some other databases that i might actually have or just to manage some of my emails and so on so basically you will see down the bottom that you have actually downloaded your customers database so if you try to open this you would actually open a spreadsheet with all the actual information about all the customers that you have in your customer database so if you expand all this you can actually see all the information that you have in your customer database okay so that's basically how you would go about using your customer database system within Magento Go so basically we have seen how to create a new customer how to edit a new customer how to edit old customers so we are editing the information personal billing and so on we have also seen how to delete any customers and how to actually export our customer database so managing your customers within Magento Go is quite easy and fast